Today's lesson will involve common factors and grouping. The objectives are find the greatest common factor of numbers, find the greatest common factor of terms, factor out the greatest common factor, and then finally factor a four-term expression by grouping. So let's get started with some definitions, in particular product and factors. Let's say we have an expression 15 equals 3 times 5. We say that 15 is the product and the factors are 3 and 5. What we mean by factoring is that com factoring completely means to have all factors as prime numbers. In this case we have 15 broken down into factors 3 and 5. Another example is 20 where we broke it into the prime numbers of 2 times 2 times 5. These numbers cannot be broken down any further. To find the greatest common factor of numbers, we are provided with a list of integers. In the list, the largest common factor of integers is known as the greatest common factor. So let's take an example. 45 can be broken down as 3 times 3 times 5 or 3 squared times 5. Another number is 60 which can be broken down as 2 squared times 3 times 5. We note that 3 squared times 5 is equal to 45 because 3 squared is 9, 9 times 5 is 45. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. To find the greatest common factor, choose those prime numbers, namely this and this for 45 and for 60, these three factors here, with the smallest exponents and find their product. So what's common here is 3 and the smallest exponent is 1. What's common here also is 5 and the smallest exponent is also 1. Therefore, 3 and 5 are common factors associated with 45 and 60. And we can say that 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, 15 is the greatest common factor between 45 and 60. Once again, to find the greatest common factor of numbers, we find the smallest exponents associated with the prime factors and then find their product. So let's consider 36, 60, and 108. 36 can be broken down as 2 squared times 3 squared. We note that 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Likewise, we have 60 can be broken down as 2 squared times 3 times 5. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. And finally we have the number 108, which we can break broke down as 2 squared times 3 cubed. 2 squared is 4, 3 cubed is 27, 4 times 27 is 108. We see here 2 is a common among all of these numbers, and th but the exponent is 2. So 2 squared is one of those prime factors associated with it. Next we have 3. 3 is common to all of these numbers, however the smallest exponent is 1. Therefore, we have 2 squared times 3. Note that 2 squared is the smallest among the numbers with the base 2, and 3 is, has an exponent of 1, which is common and is the smallest exponent associated with these three numbers. So therefore, 12 is the greatest common factor among 36, 60, and 108. Another way of doing this is as follows. We can take 36, 60, and 108 and we divide 2 among them since they're all even. So therefore we know that 36 divides into 2 18 times, 60 is 30, and 108 is 54. Again this is even so we can divide by 2 so this is 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, 
30 divided by 2 is 15, and 54 divided by 2 is 27. We see this, that 3 is common among them. So what we have here is 9 divided by 3 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. And we can see here that this cannot be broken down any further. So what we have here is when you collect these terms here, 2, 2, 3, we get the same result using this approach.